we want to start with Kyle. Kyle was our agent of the month for April. In a 10 day period there, Kyle wrote 42.6 thousand AP and IUL premium, but a hundred in annuity premium as well. So folks, let's get into it. Please welcome, if we can, Kyle Demian. Appreciate you being here, buddy. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, our agent of the month, let's dive in. And, and I know that you've been with us six, eight months in that kind of ballpark. And so um, I'm curious to understand when you first joined Juice Box, you know, six, eight months ago, at that time, what was the biggest challenge that you were facing in your business, specific to IUL and annuity? Specific to IUL and annuity, it was the fact that I didn't have a market for it. I didn't have leads to it. I was trying to run on social media and to generate basically social media leads myself by posting content and posting videos. I've had some come from it, but you know, with that, it, it takes time to, to build a, a following, takes time for people to build confidence in you to finally be able to reach out. And actually I've used the marketing stuff from Juicebox to actually help produce more content and be able to paint more pictures to, to my followers to help with that. But prior to joining Juicebox, the, the number one problem was I just didn't know where my next family to help would come from, where my next person interested in an IUL would come from. And then even with that, the I would have somebody interested and then I would struggle with closing. It would get to the point where, you know, you're talking about an IUL, you mentioned life insurance, and it's like all of a sudden you, you lose the client. And I didn't know if I was doing something wrong, um, if I wasn't portraying the words right, they didn't trust me. Um, I had never closed an annuity prior to Juicebox, knew of them, didn't really know how to communicate the value. And um, that's at least where I was prior to Juicebox and been prior to signing on to become first, just a member of Agent Shift. Let's just go from, from the beginning of the year. So what are we talking about? You know, four, four or five months, roughly. What has your relationship with Juicebox meant to you in a quantifiable, commissionable manner? What has that meant to you, our relationship together? So through the first quarter of the year, I was at 100,000 of target premium on the year. And so far in 2023, Juicebox has been 98% of, of my lead source. Prior to Juicebox, I was using a lot of doing a lot of final expense, a little bit of mortgage leads um, that kind of ties into also not having people to talk with. And my main problem, when I would talk about final expense and try to transition to annuities, I didn't have the wherewithal or really the sales system to be able to close them then from there, um, which is one problem that Juicebox solved for me. And um, other than that, I, I had to get into a little bit of live transfers prior to Juicebox. And I did a couple of those um, in January, but from from really January on out, the only source of leads I'm losing, I'm using right now is um, is from Juicebox and the, the leads I get every each and every month from them. So just ballpark, are we talking about, you know, $10,000 in commissions over that period, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, where do we kind of fall in just that first quarter? If you can kind of give sense of folks of, you know, what the relationship has meant to you. Yeah, it's been 80 to 100,000. You know, we talked about one, right? And, and a lot of folks have already expressed one of those problems. How do I get in front of more people? Well, that's a problem that we solve. And But the first problem was prospects. The second problem you expre expressed was, how do I convert them? Once I get this person in the door, how do I, you know, what do I say? How do I say it? When do I say it? To lead to a conversion. So I'd love to know, just specific to selling IUL and annuity, how have those tools that we offer, that sales system, how, if at all, has that led to improving your conversions? So number one, they're interested in a tax-free retirement account. So the I'm not taking them from a final expense lead. People are expecting to talk about, you know, a final expense policy between 10 to 20,000, you know, and, and then you find out they've got, you know, 200 grand in the bank. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, why don't we try to, you know, protect uh, your 200,000 from the market? You know, it, it's, there's no, like, you're not trying Synergy. to- which the conversation they come in interested about what a tax-free retirement account is and if it can help them you know having a quick conversation you know to, to kind of figure out where they're at and to see if it may make sense for them and then um after that phone call you know crunching the numbers and then from there just the the sales system to be able to take them through how a tfra can help them improve their retirement reduce taxes and give them more confidence in their retirement plan, which is what a lot of people are looking for right now, not knowing kind of what the market's going to do here the next few years. 
my gosh, there's a lot of fear out there, right? And when there's fear in the markets, what happens to demand for IUL and annuity, right? I think you and I both know that demand goes up, right? And so we're seeing really massive demand for that already. But Kyle, specific to the tools, in terms of when you were confident with the forecast, the forecaster is our tool where we can show this person their reality, where we can reflect back to them and show them, this is where you're going to end up in retirement. Is that okay with you? And what did you see was the switch for your prospects in how they viewed you? Did they still see you as that general life insurance agent or did they see you as an expert, a retirement income expert? How did that change for your prospects? Oh, absolutely. As soon as you show them the the calculator and I asked them two questions. Is this the first time you've ever seen projections for what your retirement's going to look like? What do most people say? Nine out of 10 times they're saying yes. Are you happy with this this number if this was your retirement? You know, and nine times out of 10 again they're no i'm not happy you know i thought i thought i would be in a better position and in kind of painting that reality and we we talk about this in the juice box training is like and here's another um thing that juice boxes saw for me prior when i was showing iuls it was more like oh this is just a good idea of what what i should do for my retirement now i'm finding a problem they're aware of a problem and now they want to solve that problem and, and guess who has a tool and a vehicle to do it? I do. In the moment, I'm going to show them how to get a better retirement. Uh, again, I want to paraphrase because I think what I'm hearing you say is that that has allowed you to stop selling products to people, that are tools to stop selling products to people, but to solve real problems. And so something I'm really interested in for you mentally, like the dynamic that you have in those sales conversations, now that you have the tools where people view you as an expert for solving real problems, how has that changed for you versus the old method of probably presenting off an illustration and, and pitching products to people? How has that changed for you, if at all? It's been, it's been huge. My my conviction and confidence now when i'm talking to people about retirement is is so much higher than what it used to be um and i think initially it was because eight months ago i didn't have belief in what i was doing was actually going to put people in a better position but now based on the math looking at the numbers historical projections you know using projections of what the market's going to do versus what an, an iul or annuity could do And when you can see the math that built up my conviction first and foremost and then you know i'm a big believer in the the training from juice box so i'm at just about every single one and then just hearing people like jim mike and seth you know talk about iuls and annuities other people talking about their cases has just really built my belief in it too that like i'm not the only one that's that's recommending an annuity to somebody in their 60s that's looking to protect their retirement like there are hundreds of people getting this done each and every single week just within the community that i'm in you know so it's like it's it's more of it's it's traditional retirement planning and this is what everyone does and i'm 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 another person that helps people solve these problems and now with that i don't feel like what i'm doing isn't putting people in a better position but i i know that it is because of the community and the training Wow. So just again, to paraphrase this back for folks, what I just heard there and look, our focus at Juicebox is to turn you into a top 1% producer. Top 1% producer is $10 million in annuity production or life equivalent. And so the most sophisticated, the most successful agents understand that in order to be that top 1%, they have to get the training, the support, the education, the, the, the belief in the products themselves of the top 1% in order to be the top 1%. So is it fair to say then that just by being around those, having that world-class training, the support, the coaching from multi-million dollar producers, that that is actually allowing you then to become a top 1%. Is that fair? 100%. I I heard a quote once, um, you are the average of the five people you you spend your most time around, right? So I'm like, I'm always in the trainings. I want to be the average of the, the five people in there, you know? So absolutely, 100%. One of the things that we know is end-to-end integration, how important that is contributing to an agent's success. So it's not just how this lead gets generated, it's the entire sales process, and then the accountability and the support after that. You mentioned this to me already, and I wanna bring this up for folks. Um, How important, if at all, has been um, the role of coaching. So think about sales coaching, our case plannings, our partner office hours, you know, our forecaster coaching, the tech coaching as a whole, how has that impacted your success? Um, I would just say if if I didn't have the coaching and I just received the leads, 
I, I think I would have been in the, the same position um, as I was finding myself prior. It would have helped, yes, that they were at least interested in a tax-free retirement solution, but I, I still didn't have a, a process to take them through. I didn't have the education or, or knowledge. You know, a lot of times people are talking about, you know, having um, a 401k, 403b. I had heard of those eight months ago. And then I started hearing about TSPs, simple IRAs, SEP IRAs. Eight months ago, I had no idea what that was, right? But through the, the coaching calls, asking Jim, asking Mike, asking Seth, um, they've been able to help me like understand tax codes better, understand other retirement accounts better, and um, really be able to help provide um, th these solutions to people that are already looking for it. But now just with having the conviction and the confidence, you know, validating what they want to solve, which is typically, you know, tax-free retirement account, it's become a lot easier just through following the process and, and using the knowledge that's already in these meetings and the knowledge that's already in these trainings and like just the, the the presentation that takes them through number one finding out where they're going to end up if they don't make any changes and how we can better it like i would have never thought to ever do that you know <laughs> here just save 500 dollars in a in an iul and you know you're going to grow tax-free income and oh you've got you know 30 grand a year in tax-free retirement income you know that doesn't mean anything to somebody without without a purpose behind it or without a, a solution to one of the problems they have you know, and, and that's the biggest thing. The importance of following the process, right? We lay out what, what to say, how to say it, when to say it. You just have to say it and, and do it and follow our process. So how important for you has having that proven process been to the results that you've spoken about, $100,000 in, in Q1 in commissions? It's been everything, it, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we just it. end it there. That's it. Yeah, it's been, it's so important. You know, we don't really have too much training on the, you know, the retirement solution side. It's more just focused on final expense and in, in mortgage. And um, prior to finding juice box, it felt like I was just running on a, a hamster wheel and not really getting to the point that I wanted to be um, in this industry. So I, I definitely needed a, a switch up and I wanted to, the whole purpose behind me getting into the insurance industry five years ago was to help people protect their retirement accounts. There's gonna be folks on this call that are saying, you know, should I join Juicebox? Should I take another step? Should I try and understand what I can, what I can do, what I can get? Now looking through the, the looking glass hindsight, what, what would you say to yourself making that decision? Do I join Juicebox? Don't I? So for me, I had a, a one of my really good friends that I met in this industry, um, he, he tried out Juicebox initially first and he, all he showed me was the, the presentation slides. And I was like, Whoa, <laughs> that's a thing. So for me, I immediately was like, I'm on board. It, like, just get me on a, a call. How do, how do I get connected? So for me, I saw the value in, in what we could provide to show how an IUL or an annuity can help people with easing the worries that a lot of people face right now in retirement. So, I mean, I, I guess I don't really have anything that I would tell myself or, or do anything differently. Cause as soon as I heard about Juicebox, I mean, I I jumped right in personally um, cause I, I saw the value. And um, I, from day one, I've always treated having my insurance license like owning a business. And there's only so many ways you can acquire a, a, a new client, right? Through um, who you know, right? Reaching out to people, you know, um, you could cold call people, you know, open up the, if the phone book is a thing anymore, you could do that, right? Or, <laughs> you know, door knock in a neighborhood or like most people do when they open a new business or a restaurant or, you know, a store they, they pay for marketing. And, um, I I've understood that and I've known that. And for me, if I pay X amount of dollars in, in marketing, I expect to make an X amount of dollar return. And it, as soon as I saw that, this had a, a system to walk people through. I knew that whether or not I had leads coming from you guys, or even I could just go back to my book of business. I knew I could start helping more people with IUL and annuity solutions and strategies. Um, but for me, I really wanted to just ramp it up and, and dive right in to getting into, you know, how many people can I talk to as soon as possible that are interested in tax-free retirement solutions.